Welcome to umpire.com. Here's your crew how-to on fitting your umpire chest protector. Brandon's here to help fit uh, this West Vest Gold. Um, it's a pretty common chest protector and it has a lot of the common features that most chest protectors have. Two straps up top, two straps that come around the side, and usually a strap that adjusts in the back. So what we're looking for is a nice snug fit up against the neck, covering our collarbones, snug around the side so we feel like we're in the chest protector and we're comfortable and we can move and we feel protected so we can do our game and not worry about our chest protector sliding down or exposing us to injury. Okay, so first off out of the box, we're gonna undo our T-hooks. Now on the West Best Gold, there's hooks, uh, they stay in place with these little straps on the side. We're gonna go ahead and slide this on over for me. And right now I haven't, I haven't adjusted anything on the chest protector, it's straight out of the box. Mostly all the, all the straps are, are all the way loose. Even if we were to bring this up and do it with the T-hooks in like it is now, we're gonna slide down. See this, I want, I want this to come up and be positioned right here so our collarbones are protected. We have our nice cushioning against our neck and our chest protector isn't gonna go anywhere. It's gonna protect us and, 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 and stay in place. We're gonna hold this in place. If you have a, a buddy or a partner um, to help you size your chest protector, that'd be great. If not, working by yourself, this is gonna take some on and off, on and off um, repetition. You're gonna adjust, put it on, see how it fits, take it back off, do some adjustments, and it just take, take some time, have some patience. My first adjustment I like to make is in the, is in the, the straps on the side. I wanna get these straps to a nice comfortable point to where the, the, uh, the, heart, the chest protector is, is snug up against here and that's where it's gonna rest. All right, so now that I've got the side kind of adjusted, you can kind of see it's sitting, it's sitting in place on the sides because it's nice and tight, but our top hasn't been adjusted so we're still falling forward and we're still a little low. So let's go to the back side. We're gonna turn around for me. Now we have our sides nice and snug. We wanna go ahead and adjust the top straps. You see we got all this loose, loose hanging. And again, if you have a partner or somebody, hold it up right there. Hold, hold the chest protector up on your neck by the, by the base here. Hold it up so, it not, so we know where we want it to be. And so now we make our adjustments in the, in the, the Y straps here. Adjusting my Y straps here, I've, I've brought this side in so you can already see the chest protector kind of shaping up and over the collarbones. Same thing on this side as we bring this strap a little tighter. It brings the chest protector in, closing the neck space, and giving us a nice snug fit over the top and against the collarbones on the front side. You can kind of see now, even before we've even adjusted that down strap, the chest protector is sitting nice and snug up against your neck, right? Brandon, you feel good there, feel protected? I do, I feel like my collarbones are covered. That's my number one concern, because if you take a shot there, I mean, you're that's an automatic Excellent. broken collarbone so that was always one of my you know key places i want to make sure it's covered and i feel good and comfortable good. here all right one more adjustment you have on a lot of stock harnesses not so much on the replacement harnesses anymore because they're so neoprene and elastic um on the stock wilson harness here it has a down strap you'll find down straps on other ones on other chest protectors but this is another opportunity that you have if this is too tight on the neck you can kind of adjust that, loosen those up, but then also use the down strap to pull everything down. These are good to bring in tight on the collar bones, but then to bring everything back, you wanna use the down strap and just slightly adjust that, get that nice and tight, and, and, and then it, you feel the chest protector coming back over your shoulders, bring it turn around. Now with that adjustment, do you even feel more secure? Yeah, it feels a, a lot more secure, kind of in my back area, I yeah. guess. Um, it feels just a little bit more comfortable, and then it did not yeah. sacrifice the, the collarbone protection or the neck protection or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, right on. Okay. So now that we've got it nice and snugged up, we'll see how well we did and see if we can at least get it off. I don't like tightening too hard to where I can't get it off. So up over the ears, not so bad. Perfect. So in review of the, the steps that we took, first we started with our side straps here to get a nice base of where we want the chest protector to sit and it's comfortable there. Then turn around. Our next step was adjusting the Y straps. So this brings the chest protector uh, in closer around the neck, sealing off uh, the protection for our collarbones. 
and turn around and holding that neck piece up so no baseball can get within there and injure us. And then lastly, adjusting the down strap, which brings everything up and back over the shoulders. Again, more protection, feeling in the chest protector, not it, le it laying on top of you. You wanna be in the chest protector and that's what these adjustments will do. Um, I was lucky enough to have Brandon here that we could do this um, while wearing it. If you're by yourself, take some time, have some patience, adjust uh, by step, and then take it off if it, and adjust more, put it back on and adjust more. Kind of fit how you want it to feel, how you feel protected, and take your time. It's not, it's not, it's not an exact science, but it's your chest protector and we want it to fit you. Thank you for joining us for this crew how-to on fitting and sizing your umpire chest protector. Brandon, thank you so much. You've been a wonderful model. Welcome. Please see this chest protector, other crew how-tos at umpatire.com, your number one online retailer and leading authority in sports officials gear and apparel.